What up, y'all? Tina here. Let's get into some news about the Ryan Coogler, Michael B. Jordan Vampire Project. I already have a video on my page with some older information, so if you want to, you can go check that out. I go over like fan cast and some other stuff. All right, so this vampire project that Ryan Coogler is working on is super secret, so we don't know a lot of information about this. What we do know is Ryan Coogler wanted a budget of $90 million. He wanted to have a pathway back to ownership because usually when you're pitching movie studios, if they decide to buy that show or that movie, they own that content. They rarely give people the rights to own their stuff with them. It's so rare. But Coogler had very specific terms for this project and ownership was a big one. So three studios was fighting for this film. Warner Brothers, Sony, and Universal. Warner Brothers ended up being the winner, but I honestly wanted it to go to Universal because Warner Brothers has just had a lot of negative press, including some of the mistreatment on the Color Purple staff, the way that they've been handling DC these past couple years, it seems like they just can't get that right. But Cooler and Michael B. Jordan kind of already have a relationship with Warner Brothers. I think they actually was the distribution company for the Creed film. So I can see how this kind of worked out. All right, so here's what we know. This vampire movie will be a period piece based around the 1930s. The shooting is taking place in New Orleans. The movie will have some anime influence on it. Michael B. Jordan is the main character of this film, and I've heard that he may be playing twins of himself. If this movie does well, it's being reported that Coogler wants to make multiple sequels and probably eventually turn this into some type of universe. Now, originally when this information came out, they wanted to start filming in, in the summertime. Warner Brothers wants this fast track. They're now aiming to start filming in April, which means we should be getting casting announcements very, very quickly. This thing is moving very, very fast, and my speculation on the reason why is the Batman 2 is scheduled to come out in October of 2025. It's not happening. Batman is not meeting that date. They are nowhere near the start of filming, okay? So Batman is not going to get that October 2025 release date. Therefore, you have a date that's wide open and Warner Brothers needs to put a film there. What better move than to put this vampire movie to premiere in October around Halloween? It will be perfect marketing for a Halloween film. Now, on the contrary, Blade is supposed to release on November 7th. They would be direct competitors with each other. They're very similar stories. They're both period pieces. They're both about vampires. Hey, I'm down. I would definitely pay to watch them both. Now, let's dig into the ownership thing a little bit. It's so rare that movie studios give creators ownership, and it's because due to licensing agreements, video on demand, some of these old, old projects can bring in anywhere from two to $5 million per year. Now, depending on the deal, the director or the filmmaker might get 10% of that, but then the studio owns the other 90%. So a lot of these old projects that you're seeing sometimes on streaming or on TNT and all these other places, those studios are making money off of those old movies. You might see the color purple on BET, or they used to play Baby Boy all the time. Those studios are still making bank off of those movies, even though they're 20, 30 years old. With this deal that Coogler has set up, it would actually be in reverse. After 25 years, the studio would then have to give the rights to the project back to him. He would own 80%. And then the studios will probably still earn about 10 or 20 percent. This will also give him, his family or his heirs the rights to those movies. They will have control over merchandising, toys, clothes, licensing deals. This is huge because I don't know if you know or not, but Sylvester Stallone had been in a heated battle for ownership over the Rocky franchise. The studios pretty much told him, hey, we made you a millionaire. Get out of our face. You will never own Rocky. Stallone was kind of like, yo, what do you mean? Like, not only have y'all stopped making Rocky movies, which is cool, but now y'all have ventured off and you're making Creed movies and these are ideas that I created and you're making money off of it and I'm not getting anything. Y'all are reaping the benefit and essentially building upon the franchise that I made. So if you don't know, Coogler actually was involved with a lot of the Creed projects. So he probably saw this little dispute going on and was like, yo, if I ever create my own IP, I'm going to make sure that I don't have to go through what Stallone is going through. 
Or maybe he's seen how he made the Black Panther franchise over $2 billion and he doesn't get any of that except the salary that he agreed upon. So it's a smart game plan. If this movie actually turns out to be successful, wow, what a power play. Let's say this movie flops and doesn't make any money. In 25 years, when the copyrights and everything reverts back to him, let's say he has a son or a daughter who eventually wants to go into filmmaking. They might decide, hey, my dad didn't do well with this. I'm going to try to knock it out. And it might become a success then. So this is a great play to me. I think it was a smart idea. I don't know what this film is about. It's that you had three major studios battling for it. Um, but I'm excited. I think it also goes to show how much cachet Ryan Cooler has built in the industry that he's one to these people with this whole creative idea and they're giving him $90 million to bring it to life. And they're also hoping that him and Michael B. Jordan have enough star power to bring people out to watch it. So I'm excited. Um, if you're interested in this movie, keep following me. I'll keep doing videos as more information comes out. I'm definitely excited to see the rest of this cast. But how do y'all feel about this new Ryan Coogler movie? Leave your comments below. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace.